Hi, I'm Sarah Kawahara, and I'm an ice choreographer. When I was growing up, I danced. I loved to dance. I, I did ballet and jazz and tap. I studied the piano, and I took acting. And one day when my mom was taking me to ballet class, we passed an outdoor ice rink, and there were these skaters skating with these brightly colored ribbons, and they were on their shoulder, and it was flying through the, through the wind as they were skated really fast and did spins and jumps. And I thought, what's that? <laughs> I have to do that. Whatever that is, I have to do that. And ever since, I have been skating all my life, since I was six years old. Um, skating was like food to eat and, and uh, air to breathe for me. I just loved to skate. I competed in Canada. Um, when I got a little bit older, I my nerves um, came into play too much, and then I couldn't couldn't really skate the, my very best for the judges. Um, but I found that when I skated um, a character or a show number where I could tell a story, all of a sudden, in like magic, I could I could do everything that I I knew how to do. Um, it was fortunate that I was found by a ice capade scout and I was hired to be a principal in the ice show. I was an artistic type of skater and did many different kinds of, of numbers. I did everything from a jewel of the Caribbean to a cockney chimney sweep. I was a marionette puppet. These were all solos. Um, it was really fun to explore different um, kinds of characters and, and also uh, be featured in, in large productions. After seven years of being in the ice capades, it was time for me to find another way to um, pursue my passion as a performer. Um, I thought choreography was going to be the place for me because I really loved the um, dimension that it offered. I loved the idea of being able to work with more than one person. Um, all these things I was just fascinated with and I learned a lot when I was with the Ice Capades just in rehearsals watching how things were put together and uh, just watching the whole process. Um, so I was fortunate enough to take, uh, take that experience with me. Peggy Fleming was looking for a new choreographer and she had seen me skate in my last year with the Ice Capades. Uh, our, our styles kind of lined up, though I was more contemporary, more modern dance-like, and she was more classical, I think um, she was she was interested to see what I would be able to do for her. It was through Peggy that I was able to um, first discover choreographing for smaller stages. Um, she did a show uh, for Harris Lake Tahoe, which was 60 by 40 in dimension, and also um, I created a show for Radio City Music Hall that was 90 by 60 in dimension. And it was um, through through that, that experience that I got to explore how to move skaters in a smaller um, canvas, in a smaller area, and, and really utilize the space and, and, uh, and make it an exciting form of, of expression. Um, that opened up a whole avenue of, of uh, of different kinds of shows for me because not only did I do arena shows, I did solo work for, for individuals, I did production work for shows um, in full, uh, full arena size, but then now I also worked with um, smaller size stage shows. Um, there also was an amusement park circuit at the time of which the shows were 30 by 40, even smaller, and um, you know you would fit 20 people on the stage and, and how, how to move them and really make it skate and, uh, and, and make it exciting. After working on um, stage shows, I got the opportunity to work with cameras for television and uh, television variety shows. And it was, that's always a different experience to work with um, four, different, four different perspectives of four different cameras um, versus um, a one-sided proscenium uh, show versus an arena show, which is four-sided. Um, I was lucky enough to, to work with uh, Scott Hamilton, who, who brought me um, the lighter side of my life and the broader side of my life, and we, we did television specials and arena shows together, and uh, I, I really got to, um, 
to work with a man who was willing to do anything for me. And he was totally opposite my body type because he was this, this athletic soul with an immense funny bone. And uh, I think we, our collaboration together has, has been uh, very memorable. I think one of the most important things about being a choreographer is to realize that you have to draw from life and life experiences and you have to see, um, you have to be an observer and, and really see and study designs that you see in nature, um, the sunlight re reflecting on the water. Um, you, you, you'll find that you, you'll draw, draw experience and inspiration and, um, and design from all walks of life. It doesn't have to be just from skating. Other really wonderful resources um, for studying choreography is to go to the opera or to go to the ballet um, or go and see as many rehearsals as you can if, if you have an opportunity to see a production that is being re in rehearsal, uh, whether it's on land, whether it's dance or whether it's skating, um, both are, are really, really beneficial. I used to study um, rehearsals for headliner shows like for um, Anne Margaret, for Las Vegas, and for uh, Shirley MacLaine. And I would sit for hours and just watch them go over and over and over and over things and see how it was shaped and how it was molded. And I think all of that experience really um, helped me shape um, my style of choreography. When I was asked to choreograph for the 2002 Olympic um, opening and closing ceremonies, I had the opportunity to take all of my experience, the arena experience, working with stars, working with big groups, um, stage work and camera work, and put them all into one event. And that was really the most exciting. I think that's what's really made my um, career um, last as long as it has, is because I have kept it very diverse. Um, I, I've done, worked with, in all different kinds of situations. I work with um, synchro teams. I work with competitive skaters as well as show skaters. And um, I do shows for ships. And then I, I did Blades of Glory, and I didn't even get to work with a, a real ice skater, but I got to work with Will Ferrell, and boy, that was unique. Well, being a choreographer is a great career, and I highly recommend it. So just remember, stay open. There's countless possibilities out there and um, enjoy the journey.